Welcome to the second part of the tutorial on logistic regression. In the first part, we built a model, or we ended up with the best fitting model, which we call GLM3. And after we've done this, uh, we can continue to assessing model fit and performance. So if you have not seen the first part of the tutorial, I suggest you watch it first. Now, once we have our model, which was best fit, um, which had the best fit, then we want to look at how this model is actually doing. And there are several ways how we can assess model fit and performance. I'll be focusing on two different ways. The first way is to look at what we call the McFadden R-squared. The McFadden R-squared is a pseudo R-squared. It means it's not a true R-squared as you would have, for example, in simple linear regression models. So you can't really compare it. But still, the idea is the same. And the idea is that the R-squared is somewhere between 0 and 1. And the higher it is, the better. Now, to get an idea of the R-squared, we have to get this package, PSCL. So I suggest you install it. And then we call the library. And it's very simple code. So GLM3 is the name of our model that we ended up with. Uh, so just type PR2 GLM3. And then we get here down in the bottom, we get an estimate of the McFadden R square, which is 0.54. This does not seem very high, but as I said, it's not a normal R squared, it's different, it's a pseudo R squared. And for a McFadden R square, this is actually pretty good. So this, this McFadden R square suggests that the model fit is pretty decent. So we have a pretty good model. So this is one way of looking at it. Another way of assessing performance of the model is what we call a receiver operating characteristic curve, ROC. For that, there is a package also in R, which is called ROCR. So just install and run the package. Now, if you have never worked with ROC curves um, and you have no idea what it is, I suggest you do some Googling first and, and try to read the theory uh, because I don't have time to explain how it works in this short tutorial. So I'll just be showing how to do it. Um, so we can draw this curve. Basically we put um, true positives against true negatives. And what you wanna see if you're assessing uh, performance of your logistic regression model, what you wanna see is this curve. It should be as much as possible in the upper left corner of the graph. Now this straight line, which I've drawn on top of it, uh, is actually the line that your curve would look like if your model is performing not good at all, if it's, it's actually a nonsense model. Um, that would be this straight line. But this is actually our model, so it's performing quite well, as we can see. Um, it, it is very high up in the, in the left corner. So it looks pretty good. Now what we're interested in is the area under the curve. So that's this area. This is the area that we want to measure. We want to know how much it is because the higher it is, the better. As a rule of thumb, uh, the area under the curve should be above 0.8. So if it's above 0.8, then the model is performing pretty well. So we can just calculate it using this code. Um, you, can, you can also find the code in the link down below so you don't have to type it over. You can just copy and paste it. So let's do that, and, when you get, and then we get the value of the area under the curve, which is uh, 49%, so 0.94. This is very good. So our, more, our model is performing very well. Um, as I said, if you don't know what the ROC curve is, I suggest you do some reading. Otherwise, you will not understand what, I've been, what I'm talking about at this moment. Then the next step is to visualize our data, so to draw the plots. For that, I always use the ggplot. Um, library and you can just plot your data very simple um, but at this point as you can see we just have the probability of death of the tadpoles on the y-axis and we have predator density which is the number of predators per pond on the x-axis which is typical for logistic regression is that you only have zeros and ones right so so there's nothing in between so this graph doesn't really show as much what we want is we want to see the actual curve um, that we can get out of this logistic regression model. For that, there are different ways of doing it. One of the simplest ways is just 
uh, there is a code in which you can automatically draw this curve. I prefer not to use this code. Um, I prefer to draw the curve myself. So for that, first we will have to uh, request the intercept of our logistic regression model and also the slope. Again, this is very simple code. We just call it intercept and we call it slope and we can ask for it. Um, one indicates intercept, two indicates the slope, and these are, of course, the coefficients. So this is what we're actually requesting here in this code. We can also look at it, um, for example, if we want to know what the slope is, the slope is 19.8. Now, if we want to plot the curve, then we have to know what this curve looks like mathematically. Um, now, for logistic regression with the logit link, this is what the function looks like. And as you can see, I already filled in intercept and slope. So the only thing you have to do is just extract the intercept and slope and then plot this curve on top of um, the plot that we already have. And this will give you, in the end, this will give you the curve from our third logistic regression model. And this is what we want to see uh, in the end. And then finally, before we wrap it up, um, you can go one step further and if you want to know for example what the 50% inflection point is and I'll explain what this means the 50% inflection point is um, the point here on the y-axis where y equals 0.5 so that would be right here so if I just look at the graph it's going to be somewhere just below 0.3 predator density but that's just a guess. If you look at the graph, it's just a guess. But if we really want to know for sure, um, we can just call probability of 0.5. We define that. Um, and after that, we just run this code and then we get the actual value. So this means that the 50% inflection point, so the point where 50, where the chance of dying of the tadpoles is 50%, is at a predator density of 0.28 uh, predators per pond. Of course, you can change this eh? if you want to know what uh, the probability of death is of 0.9. So 90% probability of dying. We get, of course, a higher value. So you're looking at the predator density of 39, 0.39 um, predators per pond. So this is it for the logistic regression. If you want to access the code, you can find it in the link down below.